Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and show you another software. This one is called Pictory AI. And Pictory AI can help you make videos in a flash. It's absolutely amazing. And I wish that you can actually stick for the rest of the video because this is very interesting stuff. Now, Pictory AI has too many options. The first one is script to video. Let's go ahead and start there. But first of all, make sure you use the link in the resources. And if you'd like to get a discount, use the coupon Ruan89. R-O-U-A-N-E-89. They'll give you, I believe, about 20% off. And trust me, that's better than getting it at the price they have it at. So you can use it at that price. But anyways, let's go ahead and use script to video. This is amazing. You can use a text and transform it into a video. Let's see how that works. So here we are inside of this video right here or inside of Pictory. The first thing, look at script to video and click on proceed. And when it comes to the plans, I'll let you go and choose whichever plan you like. Now for the video, name your video. Let's say motivation video, right? Let's say you want to create a motivational video and you want to basically uh, use ChatGPT to write the script for you. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to say, write a motivational text that I can use to create a three minute motivational video, separate every phrase and keep the phrases short. Right, I added an extra S there, but it's not a problem. So here, all right, I don't need the opening shots and so on and so forth and whatnot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually say, I said, just write the text. Do not tell me what to do. So ChatGPT, when, when you give it some words, it can think, well, uh, maybe he wants to, uh, wants to uh, wants background videos and so on and so forth. So that's why it is suggesting for every scene a specific background video, but it's not going to work this time because you know what? Uh, I'm going to actually just use text. Now, this is all good. It is writing the text, but the problem is it has added these two, uh, these, uh, these um, symbols, which I want it to remove. So I'm going to actually say remove these symbols, right? Okay, so ChatGPT can be quite stubborn, but you can program it. So here you can see that this is the new one. Every journey begins with a single step. Today is your day. Embrace the struggle. It makes you stronger. Put past your limits. That's where growth happens. Now, the reason why I'm doing this like this, the reason why I have uh, asked ChatGPT to write this, the text in short sentences is because of the following. Inside of Pictory, for every single sentence, at the end of a dot, they will use a background video for you. So the uh, the scene has to be, or the description of the scene has to be small. So for instance, what 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 Pictory does is that they take the, sent the, the word, the phrase. So for instance, they will take this phrase and here's how their program works, their software works. They will take every journey begins with a single step. Okay, so they will think, well, journey, single step, journey, single step. They're not gonna actually go ahead and just say, well, one, two, three, which one to choose, no. They're going to go and weigh in on the, the one that is better, right? So journey, single step, journey, single step. Then they will just say, well, journey is, all right, so we'll go with journey. But then again, you also inside of CapCut, you have the option to select the keyword that, that you want them to take. In case you don't select it, they will take whichever keyword they, they want. Now here, let's go back into Pictory. Now I'm going to paste the text that I got from ChatGPT. Now I don't see it pasted, so let me try it this way. Okay, well, here's the thing. I'm going to have to go back and copy it again. Because obviously the first one wasn't copied, right? We go back and copy paste it again. Control V. There you go. Now, if you don't highlight, if you don't highlight the text, they will just use whatever they want to use. So for instance, I'll highlight journey and I'll also highlight single step. Okay. Now, today is your day. I'll highlight today. Because if I leave it like this, they might show me a scene where there's someone uh, in a marriage, right? So basically, don't leave it for them to pick the highlights. Embrace the struggle, right? So struggle, stronger, highlight this as well. Limits, growth, right? Dreams, right? 
expiration date. Keep going. All right, so here I'm going to take keep going and highlight it. Failure, highlight it, right? Success, highlight it. Believe, highlight it, and so on and so forth. Great things, com comfort zones. Uh, never come from comfort zones. So here, highlight the comfort zone. Just the comfort zone without the S. And energy, right? Highlight it, attract. Now, I'm, I'm probably not going to use attract uh, because they might show me something about attracting uh, the opposite uh, sex. Because what they think, you know, because this is just a, a, an AI. So what it thinks, okay, attract, all right. So let me go and search. They have a library of uh, a lot of creatives, a lot of videos that they have access to from Pixabay, from Unsplash and those platforms. And they'll just, uh, it does the search. It will search for a track and pick the first video it thinks it works. So don't give it keywords that you don't want to appear. Unless you want to make a different video, then that's another case. Uh, fresh beginning. So I'm going to go for a beginning. Success. Right? Destination as well. Hardships. Highlight. Ordinary people, extraordinary, right? Extraordinary. Doubt, right? Right. Failure, right? Rise up. So rise up. This is also should be highlighted. Opportunity, highlight. The only limit is your mind. Mind and limit. Both of those should be highlighted. Make today awesome, right? Awesome today. Uh, fearless. And then pursuit, not pursuit, I'm going to leave it. Endurance, all right, endurance, highlight it. Uh, disciplines or discipline, highlight it. Victory, highlight it. The harder you work, harder, greater, achieve, right? Never give up, right? Great things take time. Never give up, highlight. Remember, after the darkest night uh, comes the bright day, all right? Brightest brightest day and i'm going to take this and highlight it and remember as well now once you're done you have named your video you have done everything now click on the scene settings or hover over it here create a new scene on line breaks or sentence breaks now if i do line breaks um yeah line breaks or sentence breaks now if it's sentence break then even if these are in the same line let me explain how so let's say, for example, that this is the scene, right? Every journey begins with a single step, and there's a dot, and then it starts the new sentence. If you choose the first option, which is create a new scene on, on uh, sentence breaks, then what they will do, every time there's a dot, they will create a scene, right? And if you choose the next option, which is better for me, because all of these are separated into separate, uh, separate lines, I'm going to choose line break. And you can choose both if you want to, right? So I'm just going to choose line breaks because for some of these sentences, I think uh, there is some dots. And then here, what you can do, once the, the changes are saved, you can then go and click on proceed. I'll just deactivate the keyword auto highlight keywords because I have basically highlighted the keywords myself. So they don't have to do anything. Auto visual selection, I will leave it because I want them to se select the visuals for me. Right? And then once you click on proceed, it's going to start loading and basically is going to tell you when it's completed. Now, if you've lost your way, if you lost the file, for example, internet went down or you closed it accidentally, you can always access your project by clicking on projects here and you'll access every single project that you ever created on this software. And uh, they have auto saving activated. So in case you maybe did not save, then they'll just save it for you. Now from here, it doesn't get so complex to be honest with you because the software is so easy to learn. And um, it has everything, it has captions, it has everything you ever need. Now, it's not on the level of editing that CapCut would, would have because CapCut is a manual software. You edit with it manually. This one, on the other hand, is not manual, right? So you cannot add special effects and so on and so forth. Those great transitions that you have in CapCut and so on and so forth. So you don't have access to all of that, but you have access to another feature, which is that it is right now creating a video for you and you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to go to Canva, look for the creatives. Uh, you didn't have to do the captions. You didn't have to think about anything. Uh, even the script, I mean, the script was written using chat GPT. So uh, really there, there's nothing that we really did apart from just clicking buttons, right? And to be honest with you, I personally know a lot of, uh, and I see this across channels. There's a lot of channels 
that have been created uh, using this very software, and they're very successful, uh, especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, you can create a channel about a specific niche, and you can just focus on it, create about, let's say, 50 to 100 videos, and then when that channel starts getting the subscribers, you can go and create another channel. So here you can see that for every scene, they have already added a creative for me. Okay, so I'm just going to say awesome tanks. Uh, they've added the scene for every uh, for every uh, sentence. So, for example, every journey begins with a step. They've added this guy making steps. If I clicked on today is your day, they're going to take me to the the this other other one here. And that's why I said that <laughs> don't pick uh, today is your day. I, uh, actually, I think I I thought I had clicked on uh, the option to make sure that uh, they don't select anything. Uh, but it's okay. I have uh, I didn't I didn't activate it, but it's okay. Right. Uh, so here, this is not bad. You can see scene three, scene four, so on and so forth. So for every single scene, they have basically found something that is relevant to it. Uh, push past your limit. Uh, this is where growth happens. For instance, you have growth. Uh, your dreams don't have expiration dates. Dreams keep going. And so they, they've gotten better at this, to be honest with you, uh, over, the, over the years. Uh, because, by the way, when it first came out, I tried it at the very beginning when it came out. It wasn't as good as this, right? It was not as good as this. Now, here in between, you can click to add a transition. There's plenty of transitions here. Now, go ahead and pick the one that you like. For, for me, I think the fade transition is always the best. So I'll click on the fade transition. Now, though, you'll have to go and click... On the next one as well and then add a fade transition on the next one and so on and so forth but the bottom line is that this is pretty cool now i'm just gonna click fade you'll have to do it for the rest now uh if we want to add voiceover to this scene so that people can listen to something now notice here we have these settings and but we don't have the voiceover activated they have chosen a background music for you that you can edit by the way but first of all let us activate the voiceover right just tick this box to activate the voiceover. It might not cooperate with you at first glance, but just click it. And by the way, if you want to change a scene, you can absolutely change it. So if you don't like a specific scene, let's say you don't like this one. First of all, look at the scene duration. This is five seconds. So if you want to replace it, you better replace it with a scene of five seconds. How that works is you come to visuals, click on visuals, and in visuals, you have the option to also click on the phrases and from those phrases you can select the phrase uh, and you can for that particular phrase upload a different scene but make sure that you have selected the phrase before you came here right you have to click on it from the story before you came here then you can go to your uh, upload uploads and you can upload a different video that you can go and get from pixabay or canva of course this is assuming that you didn't like this scene all you need to do, like I said, is click on it from the story, come right here, upload a different one, and that different one would be applied. You can see the captions here. If you don't like them, you can change them, right? So when it comes to the captions, they can also be changed. You can also add text. So for example, if you want to add a call out, let's say you want to add it in this scene, you can just go ahead and add it, right? And you can just select the text, place it here, and it will immediately add and you can write whatever it is you want to write here. So you can say, write something, right? Just type in whatever you want to type. And uh, yeah, I can just delete this and it will be deleted, right? So, because I don't really need this. Now, for branding purposes, you can add your logo somewhere here uh, if you want to. Uh, you can change the format. So for instance, if you go to the format here, let's say you don't want this to be in uh, 16 by 9 inches. You can make it 9 by 16 by simply clicking the button. You can also make it squared. You can change the video quality. You can add elements even. So if you want to add maybe uh, some GIFs or some emojis, for instance, inside, you can add those as well. Uh, you can place them here, even though I'm not really a big fan of that. So it's basically most of the features that you have inside of Canva. You can absolutely come back here and find them. Now, if you want to edit your captions, make sure that you click on the styles option here, and then you can go and select a different caption. So Let's say that this caption is not something you like. You can change it with whatever caption you find up here. There's plenty of captions that you can choose from. And let's say that this one is the one that you choose. You can just click it and it would apply to the entire video.
and you can click on, click on it from here. Uh, this little button at the top, it will apply it to all of uh, the scenes, which is basically takes away all of the hard work because when you apply it to all the scenes, you don't have to go and do it manually each time. Now for the interesting part, if you click on the audio here, you can control the background music. So for the background music, they have added a big win music. You can listen to it. And if you don't like it, you can actually come over here and click on the X button and then apply a different one. So let's say I don't like this one. I can click to remove it. That would remove it and leave me with the option to go and click, for example, on this one. Of course, you need to listen to it to find out if that's something you want to add to your video. Then you can click on the apply button, in which case it will apply now and it will be the new music applied to your video. Now, music is going to be played on repeat, uh, but if it's not played on repeat, then you have to make sure that you configure that. Now here, when it comes to the voiceover, if you clicked on the voiceover, they have a lot of voiceover artists that they got from 11 labs. So they have a contract with 11 labs. As you can see here, these are 11 labs voices. And um, de depending on your plan, you have different voices, access to different voices. Let's say that uh, I want to use uh, the voice of Arnold, right? You just have to click apply. The voice will be applied to all your scenes, right? And you can also record yourself if you want to by clicking on this little button right here of recording. So if you want to record uh, or apply AI voiceover here or upload a particular voiceover that you have in your computer. But if you're going to upload these things, then that's not really why we're using this tool, right? We're actually using it to, to help us get rid of uh, the fact that uh, of uploading stuff. So we want to make sure that we don't have to work that hard when, when using this tool. Now, when it comes to the voiceover, uh, it is in the process. So it's at 4% right now. Once that's done, it will basically be applied. And once your voiceover is applied, you can go ahead and download this entire video. You can also preview it. I'll prefer to download it. And in the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and preview the video. And then we'll explore some more features of this amazing software, Picture AI. Now, it'll take a bit of time, right? So, so you're, you're rendering a video and uh, you have a video ready that you can go ahead and publish to YouTube. But I would like to introduce you to some other interesting uh, Picture AI elements. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next lecture. <laughs>